What's up everybody, this is Joel from DorkJuice.com and the Dork Pod, and I am here to tell you what gamers really think about Tom Clancy's The Division. Let's jump in. Peggy 18. Do people really think that 15 year olds give a shit about who you say it's been for? <laughs> Snowdrop sounds like an Eskimo orgy. Just saying. Oh, a little girl's missing bracelet. This is probably the story of who killed her. Slow pan shots. Slow pan shots are, you know, totally underdone. Never seen them in a video game or a video game trailer. Brand new. Dude, look, who stole all that guy's food? This is already a game full of incredible dickheads. Massive, massive entertainment may be a slight overstatement. Certainly a large promise to live up to you. Please, can someone please fix the electricity? Yeah. Our tax dollars are not hard at work, clearly. I hate fucking games like this where the electricity is always fucked up. You know, dystopia, there can't be electricity. There's no generators, the generators don't work correctly. Look at those circles. Those look like the circles from uh, the little wristbands from the Doctor Who Christmas Carol episode. You remember that? Better be some timey-wimey shit in here. Water Street looks surprisingly barren. I would not trust shit from that pharmacy. Look at that place. Like, how does everyone... Look at this. How does everyone get such cool tech in Dystopia? You know? I don't see a Mac store anywhere. Not one. I don't see one on that fucking map. <laughs> it's like Minority Report ain't got shit on my wristwatch. Look at this guy walking. Badasses walk so slow. So do cripples. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really anxious to see which one this game's about. Oh, what an irresponsible driver. He's leaving the car, middle of the road, trunk open, lights flashing. Brake lights and blinkers flashing because that's how that works. God, I hate watching people. I'm already out of breath just watching this fucking dude. Water Street again. Water Street, Water Street everywhere. Not a drop to drink. <laughs> Ooh, tunnels. I think I don't think we should go back there. I think we should go down there and talk to Master Splinter and see what he thinks about this mission. Shots. They always assume it's fucking shots. Like, wouldn't it be great if they just went over there and somebody just got like a really solid deal on fireworks and went all out? Look at even the cops. The cops leave their fucking cars everywhere. This is like the opposite of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Look at that tech. This technology seems completely legit. Like, no, honestly, this could all totally happen. Don't criticize. Wristwatches can really do all this. Make text appear in the air. How does this not a guy not get distracted by the text that's like constantly floating to his right? It's like some kind of fucking curse or something. Are those zombies? No, they're not zombies. Why aren't they zombies? Oh, Molotov cocktails. My favorite weapon. I love Molotov cocktails. Where'd the, where'd the thing flame from the Molotov cocktail? It's, they don't just go out. Have these people never thrown a Molotov? They don't just go out. Everyone's really into hiding, it seems like. It's like it's like Metal Gear, but with guns. Well, they were guns, but with like actual shooting without getting raped two seconds after you shoot something. And better graphics. And probably a worse storyline. Oh, thank God, Chris is flying in. We can't do shit without Chris and his RC helicopter. Why don't like the enemies just go back inside, right? So we got this, we got this turret thing, and busting up that window. You know, government health insurance is not going to cover the cost of that fucking window. What a dick! Look at that. It's like a grenade. You don't even have to aim it. You just put it on the ground. Is it this technology? I mean, it's really pretty to look at, but this looks like it makes the game stupid easy. Five, 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 and roll. That's probably like a sex line for Vietnam vets. Okay, that's done. Let's check out the inside. 
Is Chris out? Everybody's going inside. Chris, yeah, Chris out. Thanks, Chris, for your 20-second contribution. Ah, graffiti. Let's stop and look at the graffiti. Since it's what everybody cares about in the video games. Gotta let that dude out. He was trapped in the closet. <laughs> oh, there's a rat. Rats not afraid of the uh, big guns. Apparently in dystopia, rats are everywhere. Another shocking new thing. Look at all this fucking text, man. This must be a curse on this guy. Text just pops up. It's following him around to the right there. Now apparently it just pops up whenever he's near anything of note. Oh, I hope we're going in the narcotics division. Let's get fucked up. No, go back. I want my drugs. All this fucking paperwork. What a... <laughs> shouldn't all this be on computers? What, like, a massive government oversight? Ah, what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, big ass gun. <laughs> I'll just take that. It's compensation for all the hard work Chris and I are doing. Take a break from all the murder. Check out the skyline. Ninety seconds. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that. That shit could go wrong. Uh, we're zooming out. We're zooming out. The map looks massive. Top Clancy games are really highbrow for first person shooters. The Division. Once again, I've been Joel from DorkJuice.com and The Dork Pod. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Also, find uh, The Dork Pod free podcast on the iTunes, and I'll catch you guys later.